common question that I get is, how do I resize a photograph? So here I've got a photo of a guy working in New York City. And the unfortunate part about this photo is that it's not very big. So when I go into Windows Explorer and I just hover over my photo, you can see here it says it's a JPEG and it's 750 times 598 pixels. So the question is, how do we resize this photo easily and for free to make it larger for our purposes? Easy free way number one is to use Inkscape. Inkscape is a free vector software tool, but you can also use it to resize photos pretty easily. So I'm just gonna to go to File and Open, and I'm gonna plop my image into Inkscape. Okay, so here's my image. So you can see there's little sliders here at the top, like a ruler, and you can see that this, when I click it, I can also you know zoom in, zoom out, that kind of thing. So here is my actual image, okay? So when I go to export, export this document or selection as a PNG, I'm going to get my image sizes here. And I'm getting that because I'm clicking on the image itself. I can just hold down the control key and I can move this to the right and this will actually make this bigger. You can see these amounts are changing. So I can make this as big or as small as I want. So now my width and my height are significantly larger and then I can click the export button and that will push this out. And here we can see my before and after. So here's my before picture at 750 by 598. I just exported this now and we can see the new dimensions is 7890 times 6291. Easy, fast, free. The second way you can use uh, the resize tool is with paint. And this comes right inside of Windows 10. You just type in the word paint into the search window and this paint tool will come up. So now I'm just gonna open up my image. And we can see here, here's my image that I've gotten down at the bottom. You can see it says 750 times 598 pixels. So this is the image now. Now we can zoom in. I'm just using the scroll wheel and the control button, but that's not actually making the image larger. What you'd want to do is go right underneath the home tab. There's a home tab and a view tab. Underneath the home tab, there's a resize option. It's kind of hidden. It's right there underneath crop. And when I click on that, I can change the percentages and I can also maintain the aspect ratio. So make sure this maintain aspect, aspect ratio is turned on. And then for horizontal, I'll just type in 200 instead and I'll click. And now we can see it gets larger and we can see down below the pixel size has now changed. I can simply save it now and it will be larger. Maybe I wanna make it 400. Now it's quite large. I'll just zoom out and you can see now it says 6,000 by 4784 pixels. Easy quick, free. Now, if you don't want to download anything onto your computer like a program, or if you don't have Windows, that's okay. There's actually a mobile option here as well, or you can just use it off of the internet, and it's called photoenlarger.com. It's a completely free website, and there's a bunch of these online, but this is the one that I use. Basically, you select an image to enlarge, so I'm going to just click the Browse button. I'm going to pick my little picture here that's 750 by 598. And then I just select my enlargement factor. I can just scroll along and I can make it really big or, you know, this is 546%. I'll click enlarge and now it's thinking and it's going to give me back four different options that I can then pick. So some of them might be grainy. Some of them might be, you know, crystal clear. You'd pick the one that works best for you. And there's these options here. You can scroll in and you can see if things are getting pixelated or not. You can see they're running it through different, slightly different computer algorithms. That one there looks pretty good. And then you simply download and you can see here there's a different pixelation now. Again, easy, free. This one's online, which is a nice option as well. I hope you guys found that video helpful. And as always, feel free to like, subscribe, and check out these other videos for more computer tips on how you can make your images shine with high quality.